a Chinese national trafficking fentanyl. It's July 24th, 2024, and these are your headlines. A four-count indictment was levied against a Chinese national this week, alleging that he was involved in a drug trafficking conspiracy to import and distribute one of the largest shipments of fentanyl in American history. The alleged criminal is Minsu Fang, who is also referred to as Fernando. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, the four charges are conspiracy to possess with intent to distribute a controlled substance, conspiracy to distribute a controlled substance for unlawful importation, conspiracy to import a controlled substance, and conspiracy to export a controlled substance. The U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration found that Fang sold more than 2,000 kilos of fentanyl resulting in one of the DEA's biggest seizures of the drug. Reportedly, a lethal dose of fentanyl is only 2 milligrams. If convicted, Fang would be forced to pay a $10 million fine and spend life in federal prison. And Fang's warrant was based out of Laredo, Texas. That's where he was. Uh, the, the fentanyl precursors were discovered, but he was arrested in New York City. Representative Jody Arrington, who chairs the House Budget Committee, has filed an amendment to defund the Muleshoe National Wildlife Refuge Land Protection Plan. This amendment, which would join the fiscal year 2025 Interior Appropriations Bill, passed in a vote on the House floor this week. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service recently finalized a plan to purchase private land or acquire conservation easements in Texas and New Mexico. Representative Arrington said that the federal government currently struggles to maintain and steward the land it already owns, but now the Biden administration is seeking to expand the Muleshoe National Wildlife Refuge from 6,440 to 700,000 acres, an unprecedented 1,000% expansion. Property rights advocates at American Stewards of Liberty referred to the plan as a massive federal expansion into the rich agriculture and oil and gas region that would harm the economy and private property rights permanently. According to American Stewards of Liberty, the affected areas in the state would include Bailey, Castro, Cochran, Crosby, Dawson, Gaines, Garza, Hale, Hockley, Lamb, Lubbock, Lynn, Parmer, Terry, and Yoakum counties. We've previously reported on the Biden administration's plan, known as the 30 by 30 initiative, to place at least 30% of the nation's lands and waters under federal control for land protection by 2030. Are you worried about your kid's future? You should be. I'm Charles Blaine with Texas Tomorrow. This is a show where we're going to talk about the issues and the people that are pushing the policies that concern your family, your home, and your kids. Catch Texas Tomorrow every Thursday. Tarrant County residents may see lower property tax valuations for taxes thanks to new procedures approved by the Tarrant Appraisal District Board of Directors. The changes, which are championed by the board's new taxpayer elected directors, won't necessarily result in lower property tax bills. The proposals approved during Monday's board meeting are intended to streamline the appraisal process and provide relief to struggling property taxpayers, especially homeowners. Properties will be appraised every two years. It was first proposed that they be appraised every three years, and the appraisal district will not reappraise existing residential properties for the 2025 tax year. Going forward, residential property appraisals will not increase more than 5% without clear and convincing evidence that a higher valuation is warranted. The tax consultant Chandler Crouch called the measures a huge step in the right direction. Crouch also cautioned that residents could see higher than warranted tax bills if their property declines in value between appraisals, as the taxable value will remain the same. However, property owners will still be able to protest their values. Whatever the impact of Tad's new appraisal processes, Tarrant County homeowners will definitely receive a break on their property taxes, at least in the short term, due to a new exemption. Back in June, Tarrant County commissioners voted to increase the homestead exemption for county and hospital district taxes from 10% to 20%, which is the highest allowed by state law. The increase will save average homeowners about $136 on the county's portion of their property tax bill. For more of today's stories, go to texasscorecard.com.